beat the feds. If you maintain. All right, I'm going to start first with giving all praises and glories unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Harachach Vadash. They belong to our apostles, the bishops, and the elders of the Great Millstone who teach, guide, and rule well. Greetings, salutations, blessings, and much love unto you. Hopefully, elect up there. Shalom unto you. You your brush are quiet, and I have a really quick video. Um, I want to try to keep it as concise as possible just to uh, uh, make, make the point, which... When you watch this video here, and we have uh, th this individual, Charleston White, on the left, we are not affiliated with him and his beliefs. And when you, um, for you that may be new to this channel or, or any Hebrew Israelite channel, um, we don't make, well, particularly Great Millstone, we don't make any connection to him. All right? Though views may be viewed similarly. Now, he has a view that I, I have been personally um, thinking myself. Uh, which I've never been over to, so lucky. I, I've never been over to, to the Middle East, right? To uh, to know exactly the details. But as he says in this video, um, that terrorist group is is really the rowdy citizens of of, of Gaza. Okay, the the Palestinians said just like over here. Great analogy in it, and I encourage you to watch it. You know, the, he's theatrical, if nothing else. And he has some intelligence every once in a while, you know, rounded out in nigger form or whatever. But basically what he was saying was um, that, that, and I'm not for buzz words and, you know, how the Internet and Google and YouTube and all this does. So I won't say too many words. I'll try to use code words. But the rowdy people over there um are which they labeled the, the you know the, the leaders of terror so to speak okay they they are just the people that are are now standing for it no different than you young jakes here in america that's that's you know that's got that may not have an organization behind you you know but have i'm not taking this no more i'm gonna defend my people i'm gonna protect myself i'm gonna take up arms. i'm gonna do all of these other things and they're the ones that's that's doing all these other situations over there. It's kind of what he said. But the equivalent that I'm making is that this will come to you, Jakes, here in America, you so-called Negro, Latino, and Native Americans. And that's not just the men. It's not just the young men or the old men. It's men, women, and children. This is going to happen to our people here in this in, 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 in this country. Okay? And, and as a prophet, well, we the prophets are out there warning you of, of, of this coming. And it says here in Isaiah 59 and 19, it says, So they shall fear the name of the Lord, which is Yahweh, and his only begotten son's name is Yahweh Shai, from the west, and we're in the west, and his glory from the rising of the sun, when the enemy shall come in like a flood. Okay, and the enemy is going to come in like a flood. They're going to do no different than they're doing over there. They're going to do no different than they've done in, in, in other times in history. Okay, when you look up what happened in 70 AD, you'll see that those things happen, uh, um, are going to happen again when you start putting it together. But also, when I go to, real quick, I don't want to go too deep, too far. When you go way over here back to um, the curses, um, where's the one I want? So I'll read verse 55, Deuteronomy 28 55, so that he will not give any, I got to read, uh, 20, uh, 54, so that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes, his eyes shall be evil toward his brother and toward the wife of his bosom and toward the remnant of his children, which he shall leave so that he will not give to any of them the flesh of his children whom he shall eat because he has nothing left in him in the siege. So there will be a siege and in the straightness, which means hard time. Right, wherewith thine enemies shall distress thee in all thy gates, meaning they're gonna come in on us again. Now, this was fulfilled in 70 AD, but it's what's new shall, shall come around again. Okay, now when you go up, look, it says here in 52, and he shall besiege thee in all thy gates. Right, and when you go up, it's gonna tell you who's gonna do that. Uh, verse 49 The Lord Yahweh shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flieth. That's a moniker, somebody that you can be like, oh, they identify as the eagle. Well, what what 
what countries or what people identify with the eagle. Those that are in rulership have that it was the Romans and the Greeks and now uh, the, 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 the Americans, okay? It says, a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. A fierce nation, excuse me, a nation of fierce countenance, which shall not regard the person of the old, nor show favor to the young. And when you go to Ezekiel, the, the ninth chapter, it's going to allow that death thing to be on these people, to just run through our people. I'll, I'll grab it really quickly. It's a lot here for moving so fast, but, you know, it's a lot of information in, in a short time. It says 9, and uh, I go to verse 5. It says, And to the others he said in mine hearing, Go ye after him through the city and smite. What city? The city of Jerusalem. What's the city of Jerusalem? Not over there in the Middle East talking about the people, which are you so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay? You're the you're the people before it, be, it, it was a place, Okay? It says, let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women. Okay? And it talks about having the, the mark of exemption. And that's what this understanding will give you. Understand the name. You have to first have been chosen. You have to have been an Israelite. All these situations come into play. But this is just telling you, regardless of what you believe, they're still going to come in on us like a flood. All right? This man is still coming in almost like a flood of a fierce countenance. And in a siege, they're going to cut the food in a, like they did over there. Cut the food, the power, water from coming in. And then they're going to besiege us, bomb and whatever else they may end up doing. Okay? Martial law will be uh, in, going on. All right, so let's go to, and because of that hard time, you know, uh, Jake is going to fold, man. As a, Jake already has a problem with, with the men of the Lord. So it should only get worse, okay, as, as, as the situation gets worse. Jake going to try to give us up and, and tell, and, and, and a point that I, I didn't complete making that he makes in the video, just like there's um, you wild game-banging Jakes, and then there's the educated nerd Jakes or whatever, all right? There's the no different than, than any other type of people in the planet. There's the same wild and rowdy ones, and there's the same civil, I hate to say civilized, but the same ones that are, that are, you know, that believe in the country until things go bad. They, they're not, they're, you know, more Gentile versus the more forward, if you will. All right. Well, Matthew 29 says, then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted. Who? Your own people. Okay. They shall kill you and shall kill you. And ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. All right. Verse 12, because... And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Okay, let's go to the 10th chapter. I think it was Matthew 10. And, and, uh, let me see where I'm at. Yep. Let me see here. No, no, no. I want the 7th chapter. All right. Um, which says, where is the one I want? Straight gate. Um. So lock it, bear with me one second. Thinking of a particular, should have known. Yep, I was right. Matthew chapter 10, I'll start at 34. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. Hey, we're going to, we're. he's going to prove who actually needs you. How about Shem Shai? And who's going to call on you? How about Shem Shai? When this situation happens. Okay. Because a lot of people aren't even looking for a savior. They're going to be looking for one when the day comes. But they're but the but the, the savior who who was there for them, they've been acting a, uh, an asshole too. Pardon my French, okay. And so if you're in, in in how through acting like it through to to his servants that are out there teaching by not taking heed. But when the, the shit hits the fan, now you got a problem. All right. So it says, for I am come to set a man at variance against his father, even his own father. So how much more anybody else? And that, and the daughter against her mother, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, and a man's foes should be they of his own household. They're gonna want to, uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? They're gonna want to turn you in. All right. So let's go to a couple more. Uh, we're gonna go to the one in second address, fifteen, real quick. Like fifteen, and uh, yep. I'll, I'll just go ahead right here, verse fifteen. 
Well, 14 is always a good place. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. The second Andrew 15, verse 14. Verse 15 now says, For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hands. The modern day sword is a gun, and America has the most guns on the planet, okay, of any nation. All right? It says, For there shall be sedition among men in invading one another, okay, contentions in invading one another. It says, they shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, for martial law. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. And another word for neighbor is brother, okay? So so your your, 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 your homeboy, your friend, you know, y'all not going to have pity, and literally your, your next door neighbor. Okay, this goes all the way around. Everybody's going to be dog eat dog. Everybody out for themselves. Okay, said, so, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Because they're going through the shit. No food and nothing, nothing to, um, to comfort you. It's going to be a problem and they're going to invade you. All right, so let's hit a few more. Second Ezra chapter 16, I like to start up at 67, you know, because it, it, it tells us what to do. Okay, so behold, Yahweh himself is the judge, fear him, leave off from your sins. How do you leave off from your sins? Keep the laws to the best of your ability. Uh, show your faith by your works. Charity, mercy, all those things uh, come into play. Mercy to the believers, if you will, uh, 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 come into play, but you have to be able to, to deal with that. Mm, time's almost up. Uh, and make the and discern the difference, okay? It says, So shall the Most High lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble, because there's going to be a lot of trouble, all right? It says, For the burning wrath of a great multitude uh, is kindled over you, and they shall take away certain of you and feed you, being idle, with things offered unto idols, okay? And they that consent unto the M A R K uh, C A C HIP, uh, unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden underfoot for in the next excuse me for there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the lord so if they're coming against us they're gonna come against you jakes too because they don't really know who's who and here's the thing when we take the garments off everybody looks the same man to, to, to these people they don't want none of us really on the planet anyway the top uh sambos they'll take them but they don't really want the the, the 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 lot of you jakes out there man okay it says um they shall be like madmen sparing none we read that in ezekiel the ninth chapter right but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the lord so they're gonna catch up with some of us too everybody's gonna be getting it you jakes are gonna get it man afrocentrics all you 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 intelligent philanthropic all you jakes that think you deep and all of that and, and yeah brother yes and all of that man Oh, they coming for everybody, man. And that's not just you, you, you so-called Negroes. That's you Hispanics, whether you speak English or not. They're coming for you. We're watching it come right through the border. Military age men from 19 to 30. Okay, come through the border. All right? So we're so man, this this thing is gonna they're gonna have to control these situations. This is what you're gonna be up against when this comes. That's why when you watch the end of this video, he said, that's us. You saying who 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 they calling the, the enemy over there? That's over here, that's us. It's the same people. Making a correlation of how they view us just like they view them over there. Okay? And they know they have and I gotta get it. I'll get it in Revelation. This book of Revelation 12. And 12, I believe it is. Yep, it says, Therefore rejoice ye heavens and, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth he had but a short time to execute his nwo he has to uh come down with great wrath and a lot of jake's gonna get knocked off it's not just gonna be a pestilence that takes you jake's out he gonna come through the hood with m wraps and and guillotines and all types of uh toys man okay all types of toys he's already talking about having robots and ai drones with guns and man he got all this stuff stored up waiting on you jakes man okay so let's not act like like this ain't like that like, like we don't know that we next 
Okay, when they start saying, okay, we, we hate these guys, we hate them, but what about them? We, we on the list too. When you go into the history, which I don't have the time to do, they always came down upon us. When you go into the time of the Greeks, they came down on us. Okay, and I actually was holding that. I don't have time to grab it. When they, when they came down in 78 AD, they came down on us. Okay? And they be in, in, in all types of conflicts, but they always have no problem coming and getting us jakes. Okay? Coming and jacking us up Why, in, in the meantime. All right? So I'm going to have to end it there. I got to go. Lord willing, this was edifying. Let's see if I have one more that I could just... Yeah, Acts 4. Yep. Acts 4 and 17, I'll read it. In 18, it says, but, but that it spread no further among the people, let us straightly threaten them that they should speak henceforth to no man in this name. And, and they called them and commanded them not to speak at all, nor teach the name of Yahweh Shai. They even cast them into prison for it, man, and beat them. Okay? So these things are coming, man. And, and you, Jakes, is going to turn on us and blame us for it. But that's okay. We, we got faith. We believe, man. And we know the Heavenly Father is going to look out for us and protect us, even though there will be some martyrs amongst us. We're going to uh, uh, be raised in glory. So right there, I'll end it giving all praise and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Rechach Hudash, double on to our apostles, the bishops, and the elders of the Great Millstone. And greetings, salutations, blessings, much love unto you. Hopefully, elect up there listening and learning. To the next one, Shalom.